Ever wondered what makes Filipino holiday cuisine so unique and tantalizing? Well, it's a symphony of tastes, textures, and flavors. Hello there and welcome to another video with your friends here at Passport Journey. You can find this video in our YouTube playlist, Flavors of the Philippines. So, make sure to subscribe so you can learn a lot about Filipino food cuisines. Filipino holiday cuisine is a celebration of diversity, a testament to the country's vibrant heritage, and a delicious embodiment of Filipino hospitality. From the Spanish colonizers to the Chinese traders, Filipino cuisine is a fusion of flavors, each dish telling a story of the past, and every bite a delightful surprise. The cuisine is a kaleidoscope of savory, sweet, sour, and spicy, with each dish cooked with love and served with a smile. Holidays in the Philippines are marked by lavish feasts, where traditional dishes take center stage, and food is more than sustenance, it's a shared experience, a bonding moment, a symbol of love and generosity. Ready to dive in and discover the magnificent world of Filipino holiday cuisine? Buckle up! When talking about Filipino holiday cuisine, it's impossible not to mention Lashan. Now what is this Lashan we speak of? Picture a whole pig, skewered and roasted over a pit of glowing coals until its skin turns into a crispy, golden-brown delight. That, my friends, is Lashan, a dish that takes center stage at almost every Filipino celebration. The word Lashan actually comes from the Spanish term leche, meaning milk, and it refers to the suckling pig that is traditionally used for this dish. But it's not just about roasting a pig. The preparation of Lashan is an event in itself, often involving entire families or communities. The pig is carefully selected, and then it is meticulously cleaned and prepared for roasting. The process is laborious, but the result is a juicy, succulent meat with a uniquely smoky flavor that is out of this world. But Lashan is more than just a delicious dish. It has a deep cultural significance in the Philippines, symbolizing abundance, prosperity, and the joy of sharing. When you see a Lashan at a Filipino party, you know it's a special occasion. It's a symbol of a grand celebration, a feast shared with loved ones, and a time to be grateful for life's blessings. Lashan is not just food, it's a tradition, a cultural icon, and an embodiment of the Filipino spirit of community and celebration. From the meticulous preparation to the communal roasting and the shared feast, every aspect of Lashan reflects the Filipino values of hard work, unity, and a love for good food. So, why is Lashan so popular during holidays? Well, holidays are about celebration, about being with family, about sharing good times and good food. And Lashan, with its rich flavors, communal preparation, and cultural significance, fits right into this festive spirit. Lashan, a true Filipino holiday staple that's more than just a feast for the taste buds. It's a symbol of celebration, a testament to the Filipino spirit, and a delicious reminder of the joy of sharing a meal with loved ones. So next time you're at a Filipino holiday celebration, don't miss the chance to savor a slice of this flavorful Lashan. From savory to sweet, let's uncover the delectable secret of bibinka. Imagine this, a warm, buttery rice cake infused with the delicate aroma of freshly cooked coconut milk, topped with a sprinkle of grated cheese and salted duck eggs. That's bibinka for you, a sweet symphony of flavors that dance on your palate and leave you craving for more. Bibinka is a traditional Filipino dessert, typically enjoyed during the holiday season. It's a classic treat that harks back to the rich culinary heritage of the Philippines, uniting families and friends around a shared table of festive delights. So, what goes into a bibinka? It starts with basic ingredients like glutinous rice flour, sugar, and coconut milk. But the magic lies in the preparation. The mixture is poured into a banana leaf-lined clay pot, creating a unique earthy flavor that is as distinct as it is delicious. Then, it's baked over charcoal, a traditional method that imparts a smoky nuance to the dessert. The baking process is a slow one, requiring patience and precision. But as the bibinka slowly rises, its top crisping to a golden brown while the inside remains delightfully moist, the weight becomes worth it. Once baked to perfection, it's topped with freshly grated cheese and slices of salted duck egg, a combination that offers a delightful contrast of sweet and salty flavors. But why bibinka during the holidays? Well, in the Philippines, the holiday season is a time of reunion and remembrance, of sharing and savoring. Bibinka, with its communal preparation and shared enjoyment, embodies these values. It's not just a dessert, but a symbol of togetherness and celebration. Moreover, bibinka is often enjoyed after Simbangabi, a series of nine dawn masses leading up to Christmas. 
Its warm, comforting taste provides a sweet reward for the faithful, making it a cherished part of Filipino Christmas tradition. Bibinka, a sweet end to a festive Filipino meal. Next up, a dish that's both comforting and simple, pancit. A staple on every Filipino table, pancit is a noodle dish that goes beyond just being a meal. It's a symbol of longevity, of celebration, and of the Filipino spirit. The word pancit is derived from the Hokkien term pianai sit, which means something conveniently cooked. True to its name, pancit is an easy-to-cook dish. It's versatile, accommodating a variety of ingredients, and it's the perfect comfort food warming your belly and your heart. There are several types of pancit, each one a delightful surprise for the palate. You have pancit canton, thick egg noodles stir-fried with vegetables, meat, and sometimes seafood. Then there's pancit bihon, which uses thin rice noodles instead. Pancit Malabon, named after a city in Metro Manila, is a seafood lover's dream, with its rich, thick sauce and generous toppings of shrimp and squid. But what sets Pancit apart is its significance during the holidays. In the Philippines, no celebration is complete without Pancit. It's a symbol of long life, with the long, uncut noodles representing longevity. Serving Pancit during birthdays and New Year's Eve is considered good luck, a way to attract positive energy and ensure a prosperous year ahead. On Christmas Eve, families gather around the table for the Noche Buena feast, and Pancit is a mainstay. The sight of Pancit on the table, steaming hot and bursting with flavors, evokes a sense of nostalgia, a reminder of happy times spent with loved ones. Pancit is more than just a dish. It's a tradition, a symbol, a comfort food that connects every Filipino to their roots. It embodies the Filipino spirit of resilience and optimism, the belief that no matter how tough things get, there's always a reason to celebrate, to gather around the table and share a meal. Pancit, a symbol of long life and a beloved holiday comfort food. Let's talk about lumpia, a versatile dish that's a crowd favorite. In the vibrant tapestry of Filipino holiday cuisine, lumpia stands out as a versatile star. This delicacy is as diverse as the archipelago itself, with each region lending its unique spin to the dish. Lumpia is more than just a dish, it's a testament to the Filipino spirit of unity and celebration. Imagine a thin, crispy pastry shell enveloping a burst of flavors. In its most traditional form, lumpia is filled with a savory mixture of finely chopped vegetables and minced meat. But that's just the beginning. From the hearty lumpiang Shanghai, filled with ground pork and a mix of vegetables, to the sweet lumpiang Sariwa, topped with a rich sauce and crushed peanuts, lumpia can take on many forms, each more delicious than the last. And let's not forget Lumpiang Ubad, a special variant from the Visayas region, which replaces the usual meat and vegetable filling with tender strips of coconut heart. It's a delightful surprise that adds a unique texture and flavor to the classic Lumpia. Lumpia is a staple at any Filipino holiday feast. It's usually the first dish to disappear from the table, and for good reason, each bite is a delightful crunch, a celebration of flavors that leaves you wanting more. And the best part? Lumpia is perfect for any course. It can be a satisfying main dish, a delightful side, or even a sweet dessert. The beauty of lumpia lies not just in its taste but also in its preparation. Making lumpia is a communal activity, a time for family and friends to come together, share stories, and create memories. It's a dish that's rolled with love and fried with joy, a true embodiment of the Filipino spirit of Bayanihan. So, whether you're a food critic exploring the world of flavors, or simply a lover of good food, lumpia is a dish that's sure to impress. With its diverse flavors and versatile nature, it's no wonder lumpia has become a beloved fixture in Filipino holiday feasts. Lumpia, a versatile treat that fits any holiday table. Finally, let's delve into the festive delight of puto bambong. This is a quintessential Filipino treat that makes the Christmas season even more special. What makes it stand out? The answer lies in its unique preparation and vibrant purple color. Puto Bambang is a steamed glutinous rice cake, traditionally cooked in bamboo tubes. The name itself is a nod to its preparation, with puto meaning rice cake and bambang, referring to the bamboo tube. The process begins with soaking the glutinous rice overnight, then grinding it into a fine paste. This paste is then stuffed into bamboo tubes and steamed until it's firm and chewy. But the magic doesn't stop there. Once the puto bambang is cooked, it's quickly removed from the bamboo tube, placed onto a banana leaf, and smothered with a generous amount of golden brown muscovado sugar and freshly grated coconut. A small pat of butter on top seals the deal, creating a fusion of flavors that makes for a delightful treat. 
The vibrant purple hue of the Puto Bumbong is another factor that sets it apart. This striking color is naturally derived from the purple glutinous rice used in its creation. When you see this vivid purple treat, you can't help but feel the holiday spirit. So why is Puto Bumbong a must-have during the Christmas season? Its unique taste and vibrant color certainly play a part, but there's more to it than that. In the Philippines, it's a tradition to attend the Simbang Gabi, a series of nine dawn masses leading up to Christmas. After the mass, families flock to vendors selling puto bumbong, turning this simple treat into a symbol of togetherness and the warmth of the holiday season. Puto bumbong, with its unique preparation, vibrant color, and deep-rooted tradition, is more than just a festive treat. It's a piece of the holiday tapestry, woven with love, tradition, and a dash of purple. Puto Bombong, a festive delicacy that paints the holidays purple. As we've seen, Filipino holiday cuisine is a rich tapestry of flavors and traditions. This culinary heritage, steeped in history and culture, presents a smorgasbord of sensory delights that are as diverse as the archipelago from which they spring. Who can forget the succulent Lishan? This centerpiece of Filipino festive dining is a testament to the finesse of local cooking. Its crispy skin and tender meat, flavored with a mix of local herbs and spices, is a highlight of every holiday feast. Then, we have the subtly sweet bibinka, a rice cake that is as much a symbol of the holidays as it is a treat for the palate. Its unique flavor profile, created by the combination of rice flour, coconut milk, and eggs, make it a delightful dessert or snack. Next, the humble pancit, a noodle dish that is both comforting and versatile. Often served as a symbol of long life, it's a staple that brings warmth and unity to every holiday table. And let's not forget the lumpia, a versatile dish that can be either savory or sweet. It's a testament to the creativity and resourcefulness of the Filipino cook. Finally, the puto bumbong, a purple-hued rice cake that is as festive as it gets. Steamed in bamboo tubes and served with a generous sprinkling of grated coconut and brown sugar, it's a holiday treat that's as fun to eat as it is to prepare. Each dish tells a story, a narrative of the Filipino spirit. Resilient, vibrant, and always festive. They are not just dishes, they are experiences, woven into the fabric of the Filipino identity. This cuisine is a testament to the Philippines' rich history, its vibrant culture, and most importantly, its warm and welcoming people. So, as we wrap up this delectable exploration of Filipino holiday cuisine, let's remember that these dishes are more than just food. They are a celebration of a culture that is as rich and diverse as the ingredients that go into every dish. That's a wrap on our flavorful journey through Filipino holiday cuisine. For more travel tips and products to help you on your traveling journey, check out the links in the video description below. So until next time, my traveling friends, from all of us here at Passport Journey, we wish you happy trails and safe travels here in the Philippines. Oh, and enjoy your Filipino holiday meal.